a prologue, to a play for Mr. Dennis's benefit, in 1733, when he was old, blind, and in great distress, a little before his death, by Alexander Pope as when that hero, who, in each campaign, had braved the Goth, and many a vandal slain, lay fortune struck, a spectacle of woe. Wept by each friend, forgiven by every foe, was there a generous, a reflecting mind, but pitied Belisarius, old and blind? Was there a chief but melted at the sight? A common soldier, but who clubbed his might? Such, such emotions should in Britons rise, when presses D by want and weakness Dennis lies. Dennis, who long had warred with modern Huns, their quibbles routed, and defied their puns. A desperate bulwark, sturdy, firm, and fierce, against the Gothic sons of frozen verse. How changed from him who made the boxes groan, and shook the stage with thunders all his own. Stood up to dash each vain pretender's hope, maul the French tyrant, or pull down the Pope. If there's a Briton then, true bred and born, who holds dragoons and wooden shoes in scorn, if there's a critic of distinguished rage, if there's a senior who contemns this age, let him tonight his just assistance lend, and be the critic's, Britain's, old man's friend.